Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're gonna make this super sparkly tag slash bookmark using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. I've told you before, I love their glitter. We're gonna use a bunch of these uh, colors here. These are 99 cents a jar, but if you need larger containers of glitter, they actually have one pound jars, which are 20 times the size of one of these bottles for $7.70. So if you're doing humongous glittering projects and you need to get more or bulk glitter. That's an awesome opportunity. I use a lot of the white, but still I have only gone through um, a full tube of the white in the gold and I've been using these tubes for a couple years and I use them like weekly. So, you know, just to let you know, a little glitter does go a long way. We're also going to use their large shipping tags and they come in a box of 500, which I know sounds like a crazy amount, except I'm telling you, once you start using these, you're going to want to use them for all kinds of gift tags and bookmarks. They're super fun. We need some washi tape. This is, I think, like a $1.30 a roll, somewhere around there. Some ribbon and some tool. We're also going to use something that isn't available at Paper Mart right now. It's a double-sided adhesive, and you may have some already. Um, I like this two-inch wide stuff by uh, Suk Wang, also known as Score Tape. Uh, they also have different widths. There's a six-inch wide um, roll available, too, but it's kind of expensive, and I didn't think I'd use a six-inch wide very often, so I'm actually going to be building, um, building enough to cover a tag just using a couple pieces side by side and I've already done that so after you've stuck your tape down onto your tag you can see how I did that you really don't need to see me do that again you want to burnish it down and that will just make sure that that tape is really stuck now this is a super sticky tape um, you probably don't even need anything this sticky but I I like this because it's so versatile you can even hold micro beads down with this tape it's that sticky now we're going to use a stencil and I'm using one by Stencil Girl and it is a peacock feather and what I'm going to do is actually, oops, I got the adhesive hanging over the edges just sticking to my, my scrap paper, that's alright. I am going to um, ink this up with some glycerin but I have some leftover glitter from my last project on there so before I do that what I'm going to do is wipe it off because you don't want to get glitter on your Versamark pad. I am going to ink this up and what this is going to do is provide a resist so that um, it doesn't stick to my tape because that tape is super sticky like I mentioned we don't want our stencil to become permanently adhered do not skip this step guys if you're using a brass stencil you could probably use like a, a soap if you didn't have the glycerin or clear embossing ink but I'm, I'm telling you what guys this is so useful this is just a cheap one dollar pad that I refill with you know glycerin from the pharmacy so you know you don't have to you don't have to have anything fancy all right so now I'm going to peel the backing off here and I wouldn't do this until you are really ready to work. Save those backing release strips because you're going to want them. Peel that right off. And then you're going to stick the glycerin side down. So make sure you have it centered up and then just lay it. I have a little gap there. You want to be a little care more careful when you put your um, when you put your tape down. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'll just actually cover that up with another little strip of tape since I do have a several widths here. I got a little gap and I was trying to fill cover that. So I'm just going to go ahead and Fill that right now. See, there are no mistakes in art. You can always come up with a creative way, right? I wonder, you might even be able to use like a spray adhesive if you don't have this. It'd be worth a try. Just make sure you grease up your stencil though. Seriously, I cannot stress that enough. All right, so I'm gonna lay that right down in the middle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna just gonna kind of press it down. You don't need to be too crazy about it. You don't want it to stick super good. And then what I'm gonna do, because we have that exposed area up there that I don't want to get glitter on, I'm just gonna put my release paper right there just to protect it. Okay, now um, we have all of our glitters right here. They're so pretty, I love them. Um, I want to use a little bit of um, gold and black right in the center. So something I like to do, because I don't want to waste the glitter, um, even though it's inexpensive, we still don't need to waste it. What I like to do is actually pour out a little bit in the cap and then use a tiny little like, oh, you know what, a popsicle stick's really good for this. Just scoop it up with a popsicle stick. You just need a tiny bit. And I'm gonna put that right in the center there where I want it. Okay, because I just wanted a little bit of gold in there. I might actually take it out a little bit further because I do like that gold. Kind of push it over to that center. And you can dump this back in the container so you're not wasting it. It's not gonna, that's what I like about this glitter is I feel like you can really control how much I get out. 
So not only is it only 99 cents a tube versus, you know, five or six dollars from the stamp store, it's also super easy to use. Okay, now since I have that middle in there, I'm just gonna press it really good. Okay, I want that to stick. All right, the next color I wanna use is black, and I just wanna go around the, uh, the center with the black. And I, again, I'm gonna use my popsicle stick. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pour some into the, the cap. And then when I put the cap back on, it's just gonna go back down through the holes. So that's gonna work for me. I'm just gonna put that where those little holes are. I could do the, uh, I could do the barb as well. If it goes on top of the gold, it shouldn't be a big deal because it's, um, the gold is already stuck to the, um, the gold is already stuck to that middle part, so it should be fine. Just trying to get that right in that little spine there. This is, this is really the only part you have to be really particular with. These detailed parts are, and, and if you get a little out, it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do, now see at this point, you really don't wanna be shaking this back into the tube, so you don't wanna put more than you need. That's basically the, uh, the moral of the story there. You don't want more than you need. I'm gonna do some purple on either side, uh, so, I'm sorry, some royal blue on either side of the barb there in the middle. Then I'm gonna do some lighter turquoise. Do some green. Each one is gonna be a little different too, which is kind of fun. Do some green here at the top. I'm just putting a little bit, you don't need a ton. And then some of this purple. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my little scrap of release paper here and just kind of press it down. Now I suppose you could save this glitter for like something else if you just had like a, no, any particular, you know, type of sparkle you wanted on something, you could save it for that, but just don't put it in your original containers. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump out the excess I'm keeping my release paper on there. I don't want to get any of that glitter on my release paper. I'm just going to toss that in my trash there. And then what I like to do is actually take a baby wipe and wipe off some of that. And then I am just gonna really press that in well. Okay, so now we can remove our stencil. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, it's sticking a little bit. I don't like that, but hopefully I put enough there we go. Woo, that was a little close. That, that stuck pretty well. Okay, so now after this, what I'm going to do is just do the clear embossing on top of that. And again, I just want to put what I need because I can't put this back in my container, so I don't want to waste it. But like I said, it gives you such a fine shaking of glitter through these caps that um, the little shaky caps there, I don't really have to worry about it too much. It's just giving me a, sli a slight dusting. Okay, let me look at that. I'm just gonna wipe off my release paper here. I'm doing it off camera so I don't get it. I have glitter, I get glitter everywhere when I do this project. Okay, and now I'm gonna burnish it in. Burnishing is very important. I'm gonna show you another tip that I use whenever I'm doing this uh, glitter technique. It really, really seems to help with the score tape, especially, when it's great if you're using glitter, but it's especially important if you're using something like microbeads because microbeads need this step. Use a heat gun. 
and you heat. You want to don't overheat it because you don't want to melt your glitter, but it really helps um, activate that adhesive and make sure that it's going to stick down your glitter without um, so it doesn't like rub off. We can use this on it as a bookmark or something. There we go. There, that glitter is on there really well. I'm just going to give it another little rub down just to be safe. Seems to make the colors a little brighter too. Oh, you know what? I guess I use the opposite. Uh, I use the opposite side of the stencil on this one because look, this is my original one. I had the stencil going the other way on this one. Oh, that's kind of neat. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Okay, now I'm going to trim off any extra glitter. I did. Um, oh, that's on the excess anyway. That's going to come off, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to trim that up. It's a little bit easier to do it from the back side because you can really see. You could back the tag in like a pattern paper if you want. So I realized how I got those little bits of stray glitter on my paper. It was because I had used the opposite side of the stencil and I didn't clean it very well, but it's not a big deal. Just I thought I'd let you know. Um, in case you're doing a bunch of these, you might want to make sure that you maybe write up on one side of your stencil just so that doesn't happen. Now I am going to add a border with washi tape. And I'm going to do it one side, one uh, edge at a time. I did them, I, I kind of made the frame and then folded it over last time. It didn't really work as well as this method is going to work. Do that to each side. Okay, after you put a side down, make sure you trim it before putting the next piece of tape down. Um, I didn't do that on the first piece and it was really difficult. So you'll want to punch this hole um, be, again because the tape is so strong, you're not gonna be able to um, push it out. And then for our tie, for our little kind of bookmark tassel, we're gonna use some tulle and some organza ribbon. And it's a little too thick to fold in half, so we're just going to have to twist the ends together and push it through and then tie it in a knot, a double knot. And then simply give the ends a nice trim. And there you go, a beautiful tag made with glitter, shipping tags, and stencils. I hope you try it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check out our sponsor, Paper Mart, at www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.